Hi everyone, Nina here. For today's video, we're gonna have to talk about why the Philippines isn't progressive. So today, I'm about to expose the real condition of Philippine society. But first, let me draw. Ta-da! Here's my drawing. This drawing simply means that the government are stealing people's money. As you can see, this represents as the government of the Philippines, while this one represents the people and their money. How and why is this happening? So, international corporations are vulnerable to bribery and manipulation by the public authorities due to the uncertainty and sophistication of the rules. Favoritism and unfair interference are prevalent in the courts, resulting in time-consuming and inequitable dispute resolution. Corruption afflicts the custom administration and Corporate fraud is common. The regulatory mechanism for fighting corruption is disorganized and it is not successfully implemented by law enforcement authorities that are ineffective and uncooperative. Next, I'm going to provide ways on how to help address the condition of our country's illness. First is exposed uh, corrupt activities and threats that will otherwise go unnoticed. Um, second, maintain the public sector's integrity, transparency, and accountability. Uh, the third one is assist in putting an end to uh, unethical activities. And fourth, the last one is to ensure the workers of public sectors work in public's best interest. Hi guys, so I'm gonna explain further my artwork. So this artwork shouldn't be the way around. What I mean is that the government should be the one who are or who is putting the money on the people's pocket. Not the other way around like like you know the the people shouldn't be the one who are filling in the pockets of the government i mean because first and foremost it's not it's not people's responsibility to do so so yeah that's all that's all guys thanks for watching bye bye Thank you.